I attempted to catch this bus in my wheelchair on Saturday. Really? Let's check the CCTV. According to TfL's procedures in the Big Red Book, as given to every driver, there is a set procedure if passengers in the wheelchair space prevent a wheelchair user from boarding. The driver is required to explain that a wheelchair user and a buggy can share a space, as was clearly possible on this bus. If the person still refuses to shift, the driver is required to play this pre-recorded announcement. A customer needs the wheelchair priority area. Please make space. If they still don't move, the driver either has to make his own personal address or use this second, stronger announcement. Customers are required to make space for a wheelchair user. The bus will wait while this happens. If the driver still can't get the person to move, the driver must explain this to the wheelchair user, radio the depot to tell the driver of the next bus that there's a wheelchair user waiting, and not drive off until this is done. This procedure was made after the Supreme Court case on this issue called Pauly v First Bus. But it is hard to see how it could have been followed during the seconds that the driver stopped this bus, and he never said a word to me. Wheelchair using friends tell me that my experience is far from unusual. Drivers sometimes failing to allow him on board. While I'm waiting for a bus, my stomach gets tight because I don't know what's going to happen. All that time after the Supreme Court case, and yet Go Ahead and other bus companies are continuing to break the law by denying wheelchair users' right to travel on the buses. Really?